Hello, this is KD0, ZQE, Jeremiah Bess. Some of the friends on uh, APRS Thursday Facebook group has asked that I uh, post a video or some instructions on how I use Yak for APRS Thursday, uh, the setup of the windows and all that. So I thought I'd do a quick screen record and show you guys how that works out. So here's my normal setup uh, day to day here on my laptop running Yak. I'm not going to go over how I have my radios uh, set up with uh, both the RF and the connection to APRS IS. Um, <clears throat> you can do that on your own, but as far as setting up the windows for use during APRS Thursday, uh, I usually start with this map window, and I actually have a bookmark uh, that goes to a, uh, a zoomed view that shows the United States only, especially in this case because we're doing the Works All States event. Uh, that's how I have it set up. And if I hit the Windows key and press the left arrow on my keyboard, it slides that window over to the left. So um, I'll set that and then I'll, I'll make sure my bookmark is set and the map should be loading here in just a moment. The next thing I do is I come up to the view button and I go to messages, raw messages. I go back up to the view button, go to messages and filtered messages. And I usually put filtered on top, the raw messages in the middle. And then the last thing I'll do is I'll go to Messages, Chat with Station, and I'll type in here, who is? And I'll set that up at the bottom. And so the middle one here, this raw messages, this shows all messages that are sent to me, uh, whether that's directly or through the uh, answer server, AHOTG uh, group. Um, and so I'll have everything listed here. The who is at the bottom allows me to take these uh, senders, so I'll click on a name, I'll hit Control C to copy, and I'll paste it down here in this window. Uh, CKD0, ZQE, and when you request uh, a call sign from who is, it gives you their name, uh, their license stat, uh, status, general in this case, uh, their name, their state, uh, and then their um, country. So this gives me enough to kind of get information for the worked all states information or if I'm just curious where they're at. Um, and then up here at the very top I have filtered messages. So this I want to have just the messages that are sent directly to me, not the ones that are sent as the announcements or the broadcast to the HOTG group. Um, and so what I'll do is I'll, I'll First, I'll enable logging, so I have uh, some log to go back to if I need to, and I just set that in that folder there. On the second tab, Messages Folders, I make sure that I, my call sign is in this right box to filter by addressee, and I make sure this is checked. And I found that it, once you restart Yak, this isn't checked by default. So I have to come in here and check Filter Address uh, by the addressee. Um, sorry, Enable Filtering by the addressee. And then this here is a regular expression. I'm not going to explain regular expressions, but basically it's special characters that allow you to kind of identify what strings would match. And if they match, then it will display that. So in this one, basically this is looking for any message that does not begin with N colon H-O-T-G. So it eliminates all those broadcast messages. So this allows me to have a quick view to see who's communicating with me. And so I can reply back to them and make sure I don't miss that communication opportunity. And so I found with Yak, um, even if you have this in and it does save this string um, when you close it out, it doesn't really take effect. So what I do is I select that string, I hit Control X to cut it out, and then I do Control V to paste it back in. Same thing on this logged message format. I have a special format. I like to have those uh, messages logged in. And so you can see the formats that you can set down here. I hit Control X and Control V just to make sure that's set. And then I go back to the logged messages screen. Um, and it'll have this format uh, for me. And you can set this up however you want. So um, yeah. So the last thing I do, and this is totally optional, but if I go to, uh, on any of these windows, I go to File, Configure, and Expert Mode. And then I go to the Behavior tab. I have this one checked. Check to send without human intervention. And it's asking to send this string here. So this is the acknowledgment. If somebody sends a message and they request an acknowledgment back, this is a string that will be sent. And by checking this box, it's automatically sent to them. I found this is also one where I want to control X and control V to paste it back in to make sure it's there. Um, that's pretty much it. So if you have any questions on this setup, please feel free to comment or send me a message. Have a good day.